Core aeration is the mechanical process of removing plugs of soil uh, in order to relieve compaction. It also uh, kind of creates a pore space for air, water, and your nutrients from your fertilizer applications. It opens up that pore space and allows that to penetrate and get down to the roots where it needs to go. Here in the panhandle, we typically have alkaline, heavy clay soil. Over time, that soil will uh, be compacted, whether it be by uh, mowing, kids running around the yard playing, uh, and even, in my opinion, I think even watering to a minor degree uh, creates compaction. That soil will compact down, and in severe cases, it, it almost sets up like concrete. And so we run over it with an aerating machine, uh, and that, that aerator pulls plugs. Of course, this is core aeration. It pulls those plugs and leaves those plugs on top of the lawn. And you can see here through some footage I took of a lawn I recently aerated, it looks like a lot of little dog turds, to be honest with you. And that's what a lot of people think. But uh, those are actually plugs of soil. We leave those on the lawn. Uh, you don't want to rake those up. You want to let them dissolve back into the yard, uh, replenish the soil. But like I said, it's really going to so uh, soften up that soil, creating that pore space, uh, especially in our heavy clay. Uh, with our current drought and with our summer heat, it's hard to beat aeration. I recommend it at least once per year, uh, spring or fall. Uh, my personal yard, I typically aerate twice a year, spring and fall. I think there's uh, not many other things that you can do better than aerating. Uh, a lot of people want their yard dethatched every year. Well, guess what? Aerating is going to help relieve some thatch issues. Um, by opening up that soil, some of that thatch is going to fall in there and, and help break down. So... You know, there's a benefit there to, to aerating. Uh, we can typically get started in March. Uh, I like to see some active growth in the yard. That way we know that the yard can, can self-heal, it can repair. Uh, I don't like doing it whenever the yard is, you know, completely dormant. Um, I just think that you're, you're opening the yard up to, to weeds and things like that. So... Like I said, starting in March and going through May, maybe early uh, June, we can aerate. Uh, you want to get it done before it gets too hot. It is going to dry out the yard to some degree, so uh, we don't want to aerate in July whenever we're uh, in that 100-degree range. Uh, and then we can pick it back up starting in September, and in some cases we can go through November, depending on our season. If you're wanting to overseed, uh, aerating is a great process to use in conjunction with overseeding. So uh, that's something else to consider. But anyway, uh, get with your lawn care professional. Uh, it's something that a uh, do-it-yourself homeowner can do as well. You know, just account for uh, the time and going renting the machine. They're big, uh, bulky, heavy. Um, I like to use the plugger. I own a plugger aerator and uh, I've used a couple different brands, but that plugger by far uh, pulls the most amount of plugs, uh, you know, in a given area versus other aerators, really opens up the soil, and, and that's the aerator that I own. So uh, if you have any questions or you want to price on that service, please don't hesitate. Give me a call. Let me know. I'd be glad to get you a quote. Thanks.